Hi, this is Luke with United World Telecom. Are you having VoIP problems like delayed audio or dropped calls and don't know how to solve them? Good qual call quality is essential when communicating with customers and prospects. The fewer interruptions during your sales and support calls, the more satisfied customers you'll have. In this video, we go over seven common VoIP problems and how to troubleshoot them so you can get better call quality. Now let's get into it. It's vital to constantly monitor and measure your VoIP call quality. Without monitoring it, you might not know that your teams are running into certain call issues, which could potentially cost you customers. You can use the Mean Opinion Score, also known as MOS, to measure VoIP call quality. With MOS, you can have callers score a call starting at 1 for bad VoIP call quality to 5 for excellent VoIP call quality. It looks something like this. On average, a good VoIP MOS score typically falls between 3.5 4.2. If you notice too many low scores, you must start investigating. And to troubleshoot VoIP issues, you first need to be aware of the different issues that could affect your call quality. This way, you can identify which issue is affecting your calls and fix those issues accordingly. The most common VoIP problems include jitter, packet loss, latency, inability to make calls from a device, dropped calls, echoes or delays, one-way audio, or phones not ringing on incoming calls. Let's take a closer look at each issue and how to fix it. Now, the most common VoIP problems are a result of ineffective voice data transmission. These include jitter, packet loss, and latency. We'll tackle these first and then move on to the others. Jitter directly affects voice call quality and communication. It can lead to jumbled, muffled, or missing audio. To understand why jitter occurs, we first need to understand how VoIP works. VoIP converts voice into digital data packets and transmits them from one endpoint to another. Once the packets reach their final destination, they reassemble into voice, letting callers converse, all within a few milliseconds. But as these packets travel, some of them may arrive earlier than the others, and this can lead to out of order or missing parts. If this occurs for more than 30 milliseconds, then the overall call quality is impacted. In fact, when looking for a VoIP provider, you want one that can keep this delay under 20 milliseconds. Jitter usually occurs when your internet does not have enough bandwidth. So, you will need to upgrade your internet connectivity through your ISP. You may also want to consider using a jitter buffer to help equally spread voice traffic across your network. Packet loss is another data packet related issue. It refers to the loss of data packets during transmission. For instance, some packets are completely lost and never reach the destination. Alternatively, they arrive late or contain errors and are therefore discarded. When you have high packet loss, you end up with bad call quality as pieces of audio are missing or hard to decipher. This leads to broken or muffled audio, leaving communication between two parties incomplete and unclear. Since this is due to digital packets not transmitting effectively, you will need to check your network. Congested networks, where multiple or large files are downloaded, uploaded, or transferred, can also lead to packet loss. So just make sure you have enough bandwidth and minimize your network congestion. In other words, turn off other applications that take up a lot of network space and are not needed for business. A third packet transmission issue is latency. This refers to the delayed time between one person speaking and the receiver hearing the audio. This results in echoes or speakers talking over each other. And while latency doesn't affect the call quality, it does make it difficult to communicate effectively. It's also important to note that international calls may experience more latency than domestic or local calls. Troubleshooting this issue is similar to fixing jitter and packet loss. Just check for network congestion. Alternatively, you can use VoIP QoS or quality of service to prioritize VoIP traffic over other network traffic. You can learn more about jitter and latency in the videos linked below. Now, let's move on to some other potential call quality issues. Are you struggling to make outbound calls from your device? An inability to make calls can be due to a failure to connect, inadequate internet support, and more. Usually this happens when your SIP ALG feature is active on your router. In fact, SIP ALG can also result in voice calls having no sound, which can be a one-way or two-way issue. While SIP ALG is meant to reduce issues resulting from router firewalls, it often leads to call quality issues. A simple solution is just to disable the SIP ALG feature on your router. You can learn more how to do this in our video linked below. Next, we're going to look at dropped calls. This is when the call suddenly ends mid-conversation without the speakers hanging up. This can cause a lot of frustration, especially during your business and support calls. 
Typically, call centers or enterprises with large call volumes face this issue the most. To solve this, first ensure that all software, devices, and hardware associated with your VoIP phone system are updated. If you still experience the issue, disconnect all your devices and turn them back on one at a time. Additionally, if you notice that calls drop after a certain amount of time, you'll need to speak with your VoIP provider. They may have an automatic disconnect feature to ensure that calls are not left open by mistake. Echoes or delays are another common call quality issue. Echo leads to your audio being repeated at various points, ending in confusion and possible miscommunication. And it can be troublesome when conducting important conference sales and support calls. So how do you fix this? Don't converse over speakerphone. With speakerphones, voice has to travel through multiple microphones leading to disruptions in the audio. That aside, you may even need to test the headset you use and consider getting a higher quality replacement. Echo can also happen due to a bad internet connection. So check your internet speed and also your ethernet cords and other cables to ensure there are no damages. And lastly, if you're missing calls because the phone doesn't ring or if calls are sent directly to voicemail instead of an employee. Thankfully, this VoIP problem has an easy solution. First, just ensure that your, dev your device is registered within your phone system and VoIP provider. Then, make sure your device is not on the Do Not Disturb setting. Additionally, check that it has the correct call forwarding settings and configurations, and that's it. As you can see, it's quite easy to troubleshoot these VoIP problems. But one of the best ways to avoid running into these problems in the first place is to find a reliable, high-quality VoIP provider. They can offer fewer call quality issues and more complete conversations. Do you have more questions about VoIP call quality issues? We'll include our top resources in the descriptions below. You can also visit unitedworldtelecom.com and speak with one of our telecom experts. We're here to help.